Mountains, you couldn't go nowhere. I thought this is where I die. <laughs> Sector 8 was a nightmare. Fires everywhere. Huh. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet? Yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steelwork. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> <laughs> What the? You okay, buddy? <sighs> Mako Junkie, huh? Figures. You again. Can't come soon enough. I can barely tell my skin from all the ash and sweat. When I get back, it's refueling times. And you, Jesse? I don't know. Gotta figure out how I screwed up. Public security should know who did it. Sounds like an accident to me. But then what about the children? We can't have them living near exploding reactors. Damn, I need a drink. I'm bored out of my goddamn mind. Once again, release wow. the fire being distributed. Wait, this in is real? It's not a building. movie? Don't How long is it gonna keep burning? The building's disaster relief center. If you are unable to reach the building on your own, please contact the nearest Shinra employee for assistance. Mayor Domino aids to those most in need. As yet, what do you no know? That ain't half bad. I'll make a grease monkey out of you yet. Thanks. I've always dreamed of opening up my own shop so I can look after my parents, you know? <laughs> well, a man can always dream, can he? I want a drink with tea for so bad. Who wouldn't? She's a looker. A bombshell, even. If Midgard loses power, aren't computers and traffic lights and all that going to shut down? That can't be good. The economic losses would be staggering. <sighs> a couple hundred trillion kilos more. Considering a reactor just explodes. They've got some nerve, that's for sure. But that doesn't change the fact that Midgar has been thrown into a panic. We need to know what the administration plans to do about this, and now. I know. All I wanted was to finish my show. How dare they kick us out? Oh, don't take it personally. Hmm? You heard how much they're awful carefree. And this was his idea. I heard about that on the news. Don't you have anything better to talk about? Anyone hear about this? You know the expressway by the station in Sector 8? It collapsed during the explosion. No way. They sent in the military to help with the relief efforts, but it's supposedly not going very well. And even more stuff might collapse. Holy shit! I risked my neck to get this valuable information for you guys. So, that'll be free kill. Nothing's free, you know. Marlene. <laughs> Daddy, you're home. That's right, Angel. I Welcome am. back. <laughs> Have you been a good girl? Yeah, I've been helping <laughs> Tifa. Oh, you did, did you? Well, well. <laughs> you made it. 
Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. Huh? How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? Guy can change. Has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Daddy. That silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Do you mind keeping Marlene company until I'm done with this? Me? Yeah, you. Uh. Uh. Hey! Uh. What the hell do you think you're doing scaring my daughter like that? Daddy says never talk to strangers. Huh? That's right, honey, I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. But I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, Daddy. Mm, all right, but just this once. <sighs> uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. About that. We should talk outside. <sighs> um, Daddy? Did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. Let that be a lesson to you. When you want to talk to a little kid, don't go giving her the professional killer eyes. Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but... I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. How was it up on the plate? It was... chaotic. Sorry for dragging you into all this. It was wrong of me to put you in danger like that. I promise I won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about me. Hmm. I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shimmer. Hmm. Not good at all. I don't know what it is. So, you make nice with everyone? Much as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. I'll give you that. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. I'll spread whatever lies Shinra tells him to. Going to happen so, to us? How it wasn't that bad? Us? It was. Oh, right. And here we are, good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. Room 201 here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else, what with Seventh Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? Oh, I mean I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No, it's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. It's a little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it. There is one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2,000, remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. 
But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. <sighs> and you're sure about that? Of course, as long as you help, that is. Wait, then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No, two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, that leaves fifteen hundred. You're the best! I'll see you bright and early at the bar, then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. Guess it's time for introductions.